Wow, the first time I conducted in public, I was an undergrad at Wellesley College, and I was doing a piece by Claude W.C. Um, called The Petite Suite, and it involves a harp along in the orchestra, and so this was my first time ever conducting. It was a big audience, you know, full of students and also people from the community who were coming out to hear the college orchestra, and I was so excited, and I wasn't the least bit nervous. I never get nervous conducting when I'm on stage. I, I get nervous beforehand, but not when I'm on the stage. I feel very comfortable, and everything was going very well, and the harp um, I heard this terrible sound in the middle of the orchestra during the concert. I heard this huge twang noise and I had no idea what this was. And of course, we're in the performance, I can't just stop. And I look over at the harpist and she's just kind of miming like, my string broke. Her string had broken in the middle of the piece. And it was like a string that she needed to use like a thousand times in the piece. So we're just missing all <laughs> of these notes in the middle of the piece. and so. You know, you're a professional. You just have to kind of keep going and pretend like nothing's really wrong. And the whole, but I mean, you know, and when a string breaks in an orchestra on a harp, you know, the, the, the frame of the harp, it holds a lot of tension. So it was really very dangerous for a huge string because it could snap and hurt someone. And so it was, you know, it turned out it was fine. And we got through their performance, but that was kind of baptism by fire. You know, what else could go wrong? And it was fine. And, and you learn, you know, even when you're performing, you just have to kind of stay on your feet, stay calm, stay in control, and everything will work out, especially when you have great musicians who are professional as well.